There is a very, very simple reason why Apple can get away with charging what it charges for its devices. It's no secret that just about every single Apple device is priced somewhere between 50 to 100 to possibly 200 to possibly even $300 more than an equivalent device by some other manufacturer. And when I say some other manufacturer, that right there lets you understand the reason why Apple can get away with charging what it charges for its devices. The issue with Apple ultimately is that Apple is a brand name that stands above all others because they have created a product that no one else can duplicate. What I won't do is I won't say that they have a quality product that's higher in quality than everybody else's. What I won't do is I won't say that they have a product that's better than everybody else's. What I can say is that they have a product that stands alone. No one else has the ability to run iOS. LG, Samsung, Sony, uh, Verizon, when they make their own, um, anybody else you can name pretty much runs Android. And the problem with that is that because everybody runs Android, all of their user experiences are quite similar. It doesn't matter if you get a Galaxy Note. It doesn't matter if you get a Galaxy 9, a 8, a 7, a 10, a 6. I could just as easily buy an LG Stylo like I bought for my mother's birthday last year, LG Stylo 4. Or I could just as easily go to the Philippines and pick up a Samsung J6. It's still Android. And I personally avoid Android. I don't really don't like Android. So this uh, past weekend, I went out and I purchased the new Apple iPad. And um, I have to say, um, this thing was so goddamn expensive that it is a 256 gigabyte rather than the 128. But this thing was so freaking expensive. It's like the only thing that basically was more that I actually spent was my iPhone XS Max uh, 512 which I paid $1,577 for. Now, I bought this iPad. I bought the keyboard attachment. And um, what else? Uh, I bought the uh, connector that allows you to take SD cards and uh, use the SD cards on the iPad. This thing wasn't cheap. And now I'm thinking about how they're trying to release this Galaxy Fold phone and they really think that they're easily going to be able to sell these things for $1,980 and you got to laugh at them. Basically, they're not selling a smartphone, they're selling a folding tablet for the most part. In retrospect, I probably would have spent $2,000 on my, what is it, $1,600 iPhone if they had had a one terabyte version available. And the reason why is because obviously I get so much use out of my phone as a primary video recording device. Like for instance, this year, what is it? 53 days from now, I'm headed to Thailand and I plan on making another really long video in Thailand of everything that happens in Bangkok and whatnot. So I'm going to make night videos, I'm going to make day videos, and then at the end, once I've made all the video clips I want, I'm going to sew them all together and I'm going to make like a four or five hour long video. And I'm doing all of that on my phone because my personal files only take up about, what, 30 gigabytes? But this phone has 512 gigabytes. So when you're talking about 4K 60 frames per second video, you need all the space you can get. If they had had a $2,000 iPhone available when I bought this phone, oh, I definitely would have bought it for a one terabyte. I definitely would have bought it. In fact, if they had had two terabytes for $2,000, that would have been twice as good. I would have, d damn sure I would have bought that. Fuck it. Put it on a credit card. Who cares? Pay it off the next month. But um, Samsung must be out of their goddamn minds. So one, here's the problem. No matter what kind of technology they release in the fold, the average person who really absolutely wants a new Galaxy phone is going to end up going for the Galaxy 10. And I guess that's what they're up to. I honestly don't pay any attention to that shit. But um, this is grabbing headlines specifically because of its price. Now, first of all, virtually nobody who is an iPhone user and an embedded in the iPhone ecosystem, virtually none of us 
are switching from iPhone to fucking Samsung to pay $2,000 for a Galaxy Fold. Now, granted, there are a couple of Saudi billionaires and there are a couple of uh, multi-millionaire Hollywood people who will probably not even have to buy one of these. They'll probably be given one for free just so that they can show it off and advertise and try to make you think it's cool and try to get you to want to get that. But the real issue is that as time has gone on, the prices on these devices has gone up so high. Once you've passed a thousand dollars, you're talking like, just think about it. You don't upgrade your laptop every fucking year for a thousand or two thousand dollars. So for them to try to get you to do that with your phone, very unlikely. Most adults would look at that what is it, $1,980, and they'll say, wait a minute, that's how much my mortgage costs. I'm not paying them that. Now, here I am. I'm sitting in my new house. Even my mortgage isn't that high. Before you, In fact, with the taxes, my mortgage isn't that high. My, my mortgage is slightly like $5 less. $5 less than this shit in this new house. And this house was, like, was $300,000 before I put money down. And my first house's mortgage isn't this high. So most adults are going to be like, wait a minute, I'm not fucking paying 1980 for a goddamn phone. And then when you really think about it, the average person who is a Galaxy user, like let's forget about the Apple users for a second. The average person who's a Galaxy user buys Galaxy sp- simply because Galaxies are cheaper than iPhones. Like when I bought my girlfriend the LG, no, what was that thing called? The Samsung J6. And I bought my mom the LG Stylo 4. I have to say, I was actually impressed by the feature set because they had a fingerprint scanner and they had, uh, what was it called? Um, they had a face unlocker. And they, you know, I was really disappointed with Apple for taking away the home button because I felt that they should have turned the Apple logo into a home button that could read my fingerprints. There was no reason to take Touch ID away. Touch ID, in my opinion, was better than uh, facial unlock. And they took it away, and that was it. And I was very disappointed about that. Like, I never had a problem with them taking away the headphone jack, but I really had a problem with them taking away the uh, face um, time as well as the touch ID and only giving you the face ID. I really had a problem with that. But that's just what they, uh, that's just what they did, and that's what they got away with. Now, first of all, while I'm looking at these pictures that they've put out, what disgusts me more than anything is how they've done their best to steal Apple's style. And it's not just Samsung that's done it, it's everybody. NVIDIA did the same shit when they were releasing that RTX line of cards. What is it? NVIDIA RTX. I'm sick and tired of all of these these companies out there stealing Apple's style when they're releasing these uh, new products. And they're, they're trying to make all of their shit into a nice juicy keynote. And when I was watching this guy trying to show off that RTX card, the RTX 2080 Ti before I actually, because I was going to buy one for my, you know, my computer right here. I was going to buy one anyway. But the thing about it is when they're stealing Apple style, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It almost makes me not want to shop with them, you know. But right here, I mean, look look what they did. I mean, they've stolen Apple style. They, the whole the black background and and the colorful photos and shit, man. It's like that's just, Apple should sue them for that. Like I and I'm guessing you probably can't sue them for this because it's like an art style or something, but that's like that's just theft. Cuz I know if I tried to draw like really ugly drawings and something, I know somebody would do their best to sue my ass. So how come they don't get sued for this bullshit? But I'm not worried about that because this thing is not going to sell. And that's just, that's just, look at this, stealing Apple style. And I know there's a lot of Galaxy fanboys who come on my channel and try to troll. But the beautiful thing about this phone is you can't afford it. So, you know, here I am sitting with this XS Max that costs uh, 1600 bucks, And you'll just be sitting home dreaming about owning one of these things. Unless you're like, you know, really, really wealthy. Because most of you just can't afford it. And, you know, it's funny. There was somebody on one of these forums that said, oh, man, I really hate Apple because once they crossed the thousand dollar boundary, all these other smartphones were going to start following suit. It's like, well, you forget that there's something called the free market. And in the free market, the free market will only support what the free market itself is willing to bear. So if the demand is low on these things, it's going to cause the supply to be high. They're not going to be able to sell them. And uh, they're just going to sit on the uh, shelves, you know, they're just going to sit on the shelves because I'm looking at this thing. It does nothing revolutionary. All this thing is is a tablet that folds out. 
That's all it is. It's a folding tablet. I failed to see the difference between buying one of these and just buying, like, say, an iPad or buying one of those Samsung Galaxy um, pads, if they still make those, because I honestly don't pay any attention to Samsung and their product. I really don't. It's funny. I was in Korea, and I was looking. I went to some Samsung stores, and I really didn't see anything, like, shockingly amazing. Like, I was, I expected to be amazed. Like, when I went to Japan... I was amazed in Japan. Like, they had shit I couldn't even imagine that they could build. I go to Samsung, and I was like, yeah, whatever. And now they got three fucking cameras. Three cameras? Really? Here's my question. And not to say that having two cameras on the back of my phone, like, you know, two lenses, not to say that that's that big of a deal, but what the hell do you need three cameras for? I mean... That it doesn't even make any damn sense. It's like, what are you taking pictures of? The the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun? Like, wh wh why do you need three cameras? It, do it doesn't make no damn sense. So anyway, they said the Samsung Galaxy Fold is going to launch on April 26th, starting at a staggering. Like, that, that's the thing. Everybody's busy talking about the price. So the beautiful thing about this thing is it's priced so ridiculously high until these loser high school kids won't be able to buy them and they won't be able to show them off. And since most rappers and most of the people who they actually pay attention to are going to have iPhones anyway, and they're not going to have these things, they'll probably be waiting to see what Apple does as far as you know, your feedback. You don't want feedback from me because I'll let you have it. So anyway, um, this Galaxy S10 I was looking at, like, let's see, I want to see what the pre-order system looks like. But I was looking at the Galaxy S10. Now, people are still attacking how Apple phones have a notch in them. But when I look at the Galaxy S10, it's like there's a big goddamn dead pixel right in the middle of the screen. It's like, how is that huge dead pixel space any different than having a notch that's at least just right here in the middle? Like, right there, I mean, how could you even look at this photo and, like, not be totally, like, totally, like, um just like confused like your mind would be confused and everything like it's distracting having that big goddamn dead pit look at that shit it's like there's a hole in the phone <laughs> it's like you think you know they make fun of apple's notch but this thing looks like there's a goddamn hole in the phone and this one looks like there's a huge hole in the phone so this is the best they could do so they did their best to try to make a product that looks exact just exactly like the iphone they rounded the edges they, they did the silver treatments and everything. They tried to put their watch out. Their watches suck. Apple Watch has so outsold all watches ever made by man because they, they love bringing that up, you know, and they, they, the Samsung Galaxy Gear, all that shit. I thought they'd stop making half of that stuff. That stuff doesn't sell. It's because it just doesn't have the style. There's no style. Every now and then I have to make these videos. Every time there's something really significant that's about to happen, but but usually I don't have to make these videos because they don't do anything special. It's like this shit is boring now. I mean these these phones. How, how many megapixels in this phone? I mean you got three goddamn cameras. How how many how many megapixels do you have? What what, what is this? Where's the oh here it is. Okay, how many how many megapixels? Is it more than twelve? Because I think I have twelve, but nobody really counts anymore because now you take a picture. And you try to upload it to your favorite website, and the website won't accept it because the pictures are too large and fi the file size is like ten megabytes a piece. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where, how many megapixels? Oh, it's got three cameras, not just wide angle, ultra wide, ultra wide, sixteen megapixels. Wow! And in combination with the twelve megapixel. We've got 16 in one and 12 in the other. You can take pictures of Scooch on the moon. It's like, you try uploading this shit to Facebook and watch them knock your image quality all the way back to 720. And you know I'm telling the truth. In fact, most of these YouTube apps, you can't even upload 4K directly from your phone straight to YouTube because the apps itself doesn't support it. In order to do it on my phone, I have to use iMovie. And I've seen with the Galaxy phones, if they try to upload, they get stuck in the same exact shit. You get lowered down to 1080p. Like, when I make, when I finalize this video on my phone, 
I've got to upload it through my computer because if I don't, it's not going to come out as 4K. Now, honestly, I really don't care if this video is 4K or not. Like, I could just as easily upload it straight from the phone, make it 1080p. It'll finalize quicker. It'll get up to the Internet quicker, and it'll be processed quicker. There's no point in me really doing a 4K video right here. I usually save 4K video for, you know, vacation or, um, you know, car events. Like, if I'm lucky enough to get back from Thailand in time, I'm probably going to go to Jacob Javid's, um, the Jacob Javid's car show. If I'm really lucky, I might be able to do it that morning. But the problem is it's going to take so long to upload my video that by 11 o'clock I'm supposed to be on the plane. So that means i got to go to JFK like two or three hours early just to get through this stupid security. But um, I'm not impressed by the Galaxy 10. How much is this piece of shit? How much is this? Let's see. They got a 10E, 10 with free Galaxy earbuds, free Galaxy buds with the S10 Plus. And you stole the Plus from Apple, you fucking copycats. Okay, yeah, keep copying. See see where that gets you. You keep copying. Copycats. A Apple could name their next phone the Apple iPhone Minus. And these motherfuckers would copy that shit. Oh, yeah, well, we got the uh, Oppo Find X Minus. Uh, look at us. Don't pay any attention to Apple. Look over here. It's disgusting. T-Mobile. Or AT&T. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, so wait. There's some colors you can't get. You can't get this color right here. What is this? Coral? Look at that. Copying. Copying. iPhone XR, I think it is. The one that has the colored back. I think it's the XR. I can't even remember now. That, 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 that right there is the coral color. Copycat bastards. Keep copying, Samsung. Keep copying. Oh. Capacity, 256, not available in this combination, huh? 512, not available. One terabyte, not available. Wow, you guys are so awesome, aren't you? Okay, so where is it available? Let's try T-Mobile. $600? So if you get a one terabyte Samsung Galaxy, Samsung 10, one terabyte, you can only get it with T-Mobile. One terabyte. Let's see. Unlocked, you can do... Unlocked and T-Mobile is basically the same thing, or at least that's how Apple treats it. Sprint, you can get one terabyte. Oh, but you can't get it with U.S. Cellular. I have no idea who they are. Verizon, you can get it. You can get it with Verizon, one terabyte. Sons of bitches. Oh, my God. You can do it with everybody... Wait, wait, wait. Can you do it with AT? Oh, but you couldn't do the color combination. Oh, my God. These guys suck. Fuck. So I, I can't get the copied color... And a thousand buck phone. I can't I can't do that. You guys suck. You guys suck so bad. I'm gonna stick with Apple until your dying breath. Jesus Christ. So anyway, let's go back to T Mobile. The unlocked unlocked, unlocked, unlocked. Yeah, unlocked. We got black. We got white. We got coral. We got blue. We've got black, black, black. Black on black. And then we've got this pearlized white. Yeah, but I wanted this one, and you won't let me have it with terabytes, you bastards. In fact, I don't... Oh. So this one, right here, it's only $350 more if you get it unlocked. That shit is $1249, so $350 more. You're still paying, like, what, $1,600 or close to $1,700. And then you factor in how much tax is going to cost, because for every $1,000, well, at least here in New York, you're talking about another $80. So that means that this is 80 plus about maybe 40 or 50. So you're talking about $130 in tax. So basically you're coming close to about, what, maybe $1,800. So this is, this right here, this is just the Galaxy 10, and this is an $1,800 phone if you want one terabyte, which that the next time I upgrade, I'll be getting one terabyte. Like if Apple comes out this year and they don't go beyond 512 and they wait till next year, I'm not going to upgrade this year because there's no point. Like, I, I, I'm i very happy with my XS Max, except for the fact that I only have 512. So when they have the one terabyte NAND flash offer, that's when I will upgrade this phone. Other than that, I can ride this phone out another year. The battery is fantastic in this phone. Let's see, where's the fold? Where, where's the fold? Boring fold. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Oh, here it is. So let's see. Sign up. Yeah, I ain't sign up. Well, sign up. Yeah. Well, let's see. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, David. Let's see. Bond. 
and the email. Let's see, email. Um, I don't know. What's a good email? I could send. I could send it to New York City. Okay, irs. dot gov. No, I don't think that'll work because there's no at. Whatever. I don't want to sign up for this shit. <laughs> I don't even want to sign up. So basically, that's what you're looking at. So they want damn. They want two thousand. And you know, you're talking about what a hundred and sixty dollars worth of tax. So basically, they want like twenty one hundred dollars. If you get yourself a Galaxy Fold, because you're going to pay like $80 in tax for the first thousand, and you're going to pay like another 60 or something for what comes, because you're going to you're gonna get hit for taxes on this shit. And if you don't, and, and I'm pretty sure that's for the base version, because they said it starts at something, but they didn't say what the terabyte flash is and all that. But uh, this is some expensive ass shit, and most people ain't going to be able to afford it. Most people are not going to be able to afford it. See, me, all I got to do is take one YouTube check and dedicate that shit to buying something. I could have one, but I absolutely don't want it. And from what I've been hearing, some of the folding screens that have been made break when you actually fold them. Because basically, if you see right here, it's basically two phones that are just, you know, with this folding thing, it's sewed together. And there's app continuity across both things. So me personally, I, I just don't see the point in that. I don't see the point in that, but, you know, because it's a Samsung anyway, I wouldn't be buying it anyway, so <laughs> that's just it. But um, I just find it so amazing that these phones cost so much. Meanwhile, you're able to buy a 70-inch television for less than 800 bucks now. It's incredible. You can get a 70-inch television for $798. It's crazy. QLED 8Q. Who the fuck is buying an 8K television? It's like you don't even have a set-top box that can run 8K. See, that's the funny thing about Samsung. It's like they try they try to sell you all of this stuff that you 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 don't even have the support equipment for it. Like they ain't nothing you got that runs no 8K. Your Xbox X X doesn't work. Your PS4 Pro won't do 8K. It's like, in order for me to get 8K out of this computer right here, I would have to buy two more GTX, or no, I'm sorry, RTX 2080 Ti's. I'd have to have three RTX 2080 Ti's running uh, in order to do uh, 8K on this thing. Or I'd have to get like three 1080 Ti's or something like that. You can't do no goddamn 8K. Like, what's the point of selling shit like that? I don't even understand that. But whatever. And you know this thing costs a lot of money. How much is this damn thing? 8K television. $5,000? Well, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like 10000 And that's only for 65 inches. How much for 75 inch? 6999 Yeah, just in time for tax season. So hopefully you're not going to spend your money on crystal meth and opioids. You can take your tax money down here. You can buy something cool for $200 a month for 36 months. That's a, that's a damn car note. 36 months for $200 a month. That's like buying a Toyota Corolla. That's like leasing a, that's literally leasing, you can lease a Toyota Corolla for that. Or one of them, uh, Kia, uh, uh, Kia something or others. You could, you could lease that shit for, you could lease a car for that kind of money. That's crazy. These people are something else. So anyway, that's basically all I really had to say. So, you know what? Samsung, your, uh, folding phone is going to fail. And, uh, watching it fail is actually going to be quite entertaining.